Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. With me today is Richard Hahn. Richard co-chairs the Bankruptcy and Restructuring Group at Debevoise and Plimpton. Richard, we're seeing a lot of 363 sales in the market right now. What's driving that trend? Well, whenever liquidity is tight, as it is today, there are going to be more asset sales and bankruptcy debtors don't have the funds necessary to, to survive a long Chapter 11. But more interestingly, it's become a, a preferred tactic for loan-to-own investors, where an investor is extending new money in exchange ultimately for control of a business. And why are 363 sales in particular so attractive to investors at, at this point in time? Well, the, the simple reason is, is speed and predictability. A 363 sale has to be approved by a bankruptcy court, but the court only needs to make two findings, that the decision to sell is reasonable and that the terms of the transaction are the highest and best available. As a result, they typically happen quickly. So who's at the table? Who are the buyers? Are, are we seeing private equity firms? Are we seeing strategics? Well, there's been a lot of interest uh, among non-traditional uh, investors, private equity firms, strategic buyers. But so far, the actual uh, transactions have been done almost exclusively by t- traditional distressed investors. The, uh, the non-traditional investors haven't taken the plunge. Uh, Whether that will change, I think, depends on how long the cycle continues. Well, what are your thoughts? Because I've talked to a lot of uh, strategic investors who say they are looking at the pool of distressed assets out there. What's your best guess about whether or not they will actually dive in? I think the resistance is going to continue for a good while. This is not an environment that resembles what they're used to and that they're comfortable with. You can't do a lot of due diligence in a 363 sale. You can't uh, condition uh, the, the transaction on a lot of extensive reps and warranties. It's a much more as is, uh, where is sort of transaction. And that's not the way private equity uh, investors typically operate. And certainly corporations are more more conservative even than your average private even equity more firm. So, yes. Richard Hahn with Devavoys and Plimpton. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching Inside the Deal.